Hello everybody, this is Strange Gamer back for the quarter-final round of my of the Champions Tournament. We got four matches to go through here. Starting off with Ultimate Dino King going up against Carnotaurus Man. Then Navan taking on MEJP10. Raybone taking a crack at Dino fans. And then we'll be concluding Nopi going up against Asta. Right, let's go over our first match, shall we? Okie dokie, in the red corner, for the Dino King, we have got a Satiosaurus, the walking whale. That's what someone calls it, apparently. Ultimate Dino King was pretty impressive in the last 16 round. Dispatching Dexin Winters. However, in the blue corner, for Carnotaurus Man, we have got a Capitosaurus. Carnotaurus Man squeaked past Dino Hunter to get this fat to get the quarters. Well, could Carnotaurus Man be one to watch? If they get past Ult the Dino King, they might be. Ooh, that's a good start from Ultimate. That's a crit right off the bat. Not the start you want with your Carnotaurus Man. Ooh, but Carnotaurus Man responding with a crit of his own. It's all about the crits thus far. Wow, that was a lot of damage. Insanity. Oh, and now we're up to time. Well, but I guess another crit, and that's going to do a significant amount of damage. Because it's from Tarba Cannon. Boosh! Oh, that's, that's, that, yeah, yeah. No surprise here, Pachinosaurus biting the dust. And now, hmm. Oh, a chance for Ultima to build a lead here, because coming in next for Carnotaurus, man, we got Super Alio Ramus. Which kind of went down like a lead balloon in its match against Dino Hunter. Carnotaurus Man, we hope that it does a bit better, but it will be tough going up against a water tank. Can Ultima build a lead here? Oh, that's a tie. That's lag, and that's another tie. Ooh, he can't. And Carnotaurus Man gets a crucial hit. That could be a crucial hit there. Didn't want to get hit there by the uh, Satyosaurus. Right, coming in for ultimate second dinosaur, we've got a Shantungasaurus. Bum. Hmm, we're at an interesting situation here. The Alley Ramus does have the Awaken Mode. But this Shant does pack a lot of power. But we seem to be getting some times. Oh, Shant gets the first hit. Alley Ramus is going to take some damage. Alright, that's for one. Oh, that's another hit. Ultimate extending that lead. That's twice. Carnotaurus Man needs the next hit here, otherwise we're not going to see the Awaken Mode. Oh, that's not going to be it. Well, I wouldn't count Carnotaurus Man out yet though, because the third dino coming in is Ace Dino Tector. They're Ace in the hole, as some would put it. And it does have type advantage against the Shant. So Carnotaurus Man, not out of this yet. If he kills the Shant quickly, the bar will fill up so we could see some Dino Tector. As Carnotaurus Man would say, trust the process. <laughs> I don't know if he has ambitions of winning one of my tournaments one day. It might be this one. It might not be. It could be the next one. Oh, that's not good. It's going to be the next I don't think it's going to be this one. Come on, Carnotaurus Man, get a hit. Nah, ultimate. Ultimate on top. Ultimate looking unstoppable right now, and it's not looking good for Carnotaurus Man. Oh, okay, there's a hit. Okay, Carnotaurus Man not dead and buried yet. Getting some tornado tossage. Oh, 
And all of a sudden, is the shunt going down? Well, it's going up first because it's Tornado Toss. But it'll come back down. Ooh, Emerald Garden has been triggered though. I think Ace can survive an Emerald Garden, but he doesn't really want to get hit by it. Oh, he's going to! That's not good. The Shan's going to heal up as well to add insult to injury. But, like I said, I think Ace will have enough health to survive. Wait, what? Okay, maybe not. <laughs> and unfortunately for Carnotaurus Man, that's all she wrote. And Ultima Dino King, quite comfortably in the end, I might add, goes through to the semi-finals. Okie dokie. In the red corner, for Nirvana, we have got the Super Eel Karkiria. We await the mode on three. Nirvan getting three to the quarterfinal round. Doing well against, I think it was uh, Kionte. Yeah, that's right. Defeat Kionte in a very, very, very tight match. Tight. However, in the blue corner for MEJP10, we have an Alpha Allosaurus. MEJP10 enjoyed a more comfortable victory in the last 16 round against Clay Foliage to get this far. And they did have to fight a Super Eel Carcaria as well. So, hmm. Is that an omen? Is that a good omen for any? Or a bad omen? Oh, that's a tie. Both of our guys do have Super Dinosaurs. I will say that. But it could come down to get the weight mode off. Okay, there's a net crusher. That's fun. Ooh, that's a big hit coming from the eel cart. That's a big amount of damage coming out for Aloe's way. I think this dude got death fire as well. Bit overkill, but you know. Better overkill than underkill, I say. Ooh, any think you can just get the next hit though. That could be a crucial that could be an interesting hit. Because we get to see the awaken mode. And I say it could be a crucial hit because unless this is a tie, the awaken mode is pre pretty much gonna be wasted and Nirvan will not get an opportunity to hit any second dinosaur. Man. So let's see what happens. Oh, that's a crucial hit! I think with the Awaken Mode and the Type Advantage, the Eelkark will survive this. But, a massive hit from MEG-10 this could be. Oh, he killed it! Oh, they killed it! Okay, fair enough. Well, that, that makes it an even bigger hit, because the Eelkark area goes down. And in, in next for Nirvan, we've got an Allosaurus, the normal one. extend their lead, or can Nirvan strike back here? Okay, that's a tie. It's not really ideal if you're Nirvan. Nor is that! That's a tail smash! MEJP10 extending the lead. And can they turn the screw here? And the poison as well. Ooh, was that hit? Was that neck crusher the turning point in this match? Okay, much needed hit from the Var man. Well, it's a tail smash, giving the Alpha Allo a taste of his own medicine. But MEJP10 still on top in this contest, and coming in with this Soro Fagonax will also have tight advantage too. So Navan still in a bit of a hole. And this Sorrow Fagnax basically won it for Emmy in the last 16 against Clay Foliage. It's like his cousin. It's like his big boy cousin. 
goal. It was a tie. That's not good. Ooh. Can Navan get a hit here? They can! Another tail smash on the board! Navan, slowly but surely, could they be coming back into this contest? Oh, another tail smash! And look at this from Navan! Allosaurus putting up a fight! And the Sorofagnax has yet to get going, and now we are level pecking! And that will put Navan in the lead! And Sorofagnax, well, fails to live up to expectations this time! Going down like a lead balloon! Right! Coming in third, we got the Super Eidmontoni. The Awake Mode on three, of course, because that's the default for everyone. <laughs> and I think Emmy's gonna need it to get back to retake the lead and re-establish control in this match. But at the minute, you'd have to say Navan has definitely swung the match's momentum his way. Alright, the aloe does go down. So I mean not out of this yet. But coming in for Navan's third dino, we got a Spinosaurus. This Spinosaurus, well, clung on in the end against the Alpha Irritator, but had just enough spunk to get the job done. Another hit. Okay, one more. If Edmontonia can survive a hit here, which it won't, but if it can get a hit here, it will have the awaken mode. Oh, it doesn't get it! That's gonna be game over for MEJE10. And it's Navan advancing to the semi finals to face Ultimate Dino King. Well, a, a, come, a comeback victory there, because Emmy was on top early on, but Levan turned the screw and got it done. Okie dokie, in the red corner, representing Rainbow, we have Gygus with the spectral armor. Bum, 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 bum. Rainbow did pretty well in the trials and done pretty well, well, done well enough in the last 16 to get this far. In the blue corner, however, for Dino fans, we have got a Shunasaurus. Dino fans well known for actually being one of two combatants to complete the second trial successfully. And Shunasaurus was a big reason for that. So I'm not sure which way this match is going to go. I mean, yeah, the Gigas factor, the spectral armor and that, but I don't know. Tie. Tie. Gigas lands the first blow. What? Oh, I was going to say water vortex. Aqua vortex has been triggered, but not much damage dealt. That could suit Rainbow though, because our bar will fill up, and we might see some spectral answer. And if things continue the way they are at the minute. I think we will see some Spectral Answer. So I better get the codes out ready. Ooh, a bit of poison as well. A strong start from Raybo. Dino fans really needs to get going here. And it's time for Spectral Armor. Well, if he gets the Spectral Answer off, good on him, but it's still be wasted, so... It's double-edged sword, really. Oh, 
was a tie! That could be a massive tie in the context of this match because Shunasaurus goes down. And now Chomp has to come in and face the prospect of getting hit by a Spectral Lancer. Big opportunity for Raybone here to extend that lead. And they'll pro well, actually no, I don't think they'll go two up. But they'll pretty much be on the brink of going two up. So yeah, massive moment this ma in this match here. Can Dino fans just get going? Can he just get going at all? That's a four. That's a four. It's a tie. Can Dino fans get that crucial hit? That's another tie. It's, it's... Oh, the crit! How massive could that be? That could be a massive crit from Dino fans. Their first hit of this match. And it could be a crucial one. And it is. It takes out the Gigas. And Dino fans survives a right scare. But, come, and now, I would say, may have turned the screw in this match. Because coming in next for Raybone is a Margosaurus. And a Margosaurus will have tight disadvantage against Chomp. So yeah, Dino fans might have swung the match's momentum his way. Oh, there's another crit! Well, I'm absolutely nowhere Dino fans has taken the lead in this match. Attack boost is going to help as well. And all of a sudden, Raybone's promising start has been smashed to pieces. And now you start to think, if you got off a Spectral Lancer, this will be a very different contest. Okay, there's a crit, a welcome crit there to stifle the, the momentum of Chomp. But you've got to say, not getting Spectral Lancer off. Oh no, I clicked scissors twice! But you have to say, not getting that Spectral Lancer off has proved, I think, is going to prove costly. And now, Raybone is in trouble. Right, coming in for Raybone's third dino, we've got Penticeratops. Well, he's going to have to muster up a comeback here. Because Dino Fans is definitely on top. But Pentaceratops getting hit. Oh, the crit. Wow. Chomp has absolutely smashed Raybone's team here. And look at this. Domination from Dino fans. Can they at least kill Chomp? And the answer to that is no. Oh, oh, hang on. Oh, come on. <laughs> wow. That was an impressive display from Dino fans. And yet, yeah, not getting the spectral answer off. Killed Raybone completely. Right then, in the red corner, representing Asta. No, not Asta. Nope. We have got an Apatosaurus. Nopi and Mr. Dinosaur played out a very entertaining match in the last 16 round, but it's Nopi that came through in the end. And I think we could be in for another even contest here. In the blue corner, for Asta, we have got an Anata Titan. Asta getting a good victory in the last 16 round to get this far. And I, this is a tough one to call, to be honest. I, I don't know who to fancy here. But I do. I will say it'll be another intriguing semi-final. Whoever gets through, because the winner here will face Dino fans. So 
Ty? Ooh, that's a good start from Nopey getting a crit off the bat. Another tie. It's a Patasaurus. It's tie defense type. So multiple ties will favor it. But that will favor Asta. It's a super duper mega supreme smackdown impact. Whee! Oh, look at the damage. And that puts Asta in the lead. Big damage. That was a big chunk of damage. Ooh, but this will do a big chunk of damage as well, and will probably spell the end for a Nata Titan. It's an Arc Discharge. Boosh. Yeah, that was a big hit there from Nopi to take the lead. Right, coming in next for Asta's second item, we have got a Torvosaurus. This Torvosaurus is a, is a savage powerhouse. So, do, so I wouldn't be surprised if it finish off, finishes off a Patasaurus relatively quick. Dun 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 dun. Tours on! <laughs> right, let's see what we got. Oh, oh that's not good! That's not good. A big crit coming from a Pathosaurus. Nope, he extended their lead. Oof. Rest to go for the crit. Go for the uh, crit there. And Torvosaurus does indeed finish off the Apatlosaurus, but it did take a bit of a beat then, which is not good for Asta. And, actually no, this Isosaurus doesn't have any war moves, so no type disadvantage to worry about at least. Coming in next for Nopi, as I just said, we've got Isosaurus. The resilient, the beast, the tank of the Dinosaur King franchise. But it is a decent match for this Torvosaurus because I do believe it's heroic type. So a firebomb will be most welcome here. And a firebomb is what Asta gets, but the dino stuffer comes in to say no to that kind of nonsense. No firebombs today. The bomb disposal unit comes in. <laughs> Ooh, don't wanna go paper, no, you don't wanna go paper. That's a bad play. Rock. That, however, is an excellent play because that's a crit and that will finish off Torvosaurus. And put Nopi well in the driving seat. Right, coming in next for Asta, we have got a Joboria. This Joboria is going to have to pull its weight here if Asta wants to get back in this contest and stay alive. Sigoi! Oh, not looking good for Asta. That's another hit from the Isosaurus. Asta just can't seem to get back in this contest, and when they do, Nopi just pulls wait, pulls further ahead. Needs big, needs a crit really. But just can't seem to get one. The Isosaurus is having none of it. Ooh, but hang on a minute. We got a crit here. We got a Hydro Cut there. And this will almost certainly spell the end for Isosaurus. Maybe, maybe Aster is not out of this yet. Right, coming in third for Nopi. We got probably their um, ace in the hole here. Not ace, though, but tank. Tank seems to be a mainstay in their teams in my tournaments. 
and it always seems to do well. Very defense minded. Oh, that's a tie. Ties will suit Noki though, they won't mind that. Oh, but I'll love that even more. Is this the killer blow? And it is the killer blow. Down goes the Joe Boria. And it is Nopi going through to the semi-finals. And Asta, unfortunately, bows out. Right, that is our quarter-final, ladies and gentlemen. Interesting semi-final we got here, with Navan making consecutive semi-final appearances, going up against Ultima Dino King. And then we have Dino fans and Nopi who have never got this far before in my tournaments. I do feel like the winner is going to come from this side. I think it's going to be between these two. And I think whoever wins this contest will probably go on to win the final. But you never know. You never know. And yeah, that is it for this session, ladies and gentlemen. So I hope you enjoyed. And stay tuned to make sure you do not miss out on those semi-final matches. And until then, ta-ta!